Hey what's up guys, it's Uber Hybrid, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest ways to level up in Adventure Quest Worlds 2015. So this strategy is used by any players, it can be member or non-member, whatever level. Um, you just have to talk to one of these trainers and you select quests. So when you're level 1 to 15, this is recommended for you. Farm in, join Battleground A, and uh, it's continue for Battleground B for level 16 and 30, and same with 31 45 which is C, level 46 to 60, which is D, and for me right now it's level 61 to 75, which you can also do Hall of Honors if you are a member or a legend. And uh, you wanna keep this going at all times, and there are monsters here that are really strong, like such as this. So you wanna be farming in a group um, generally. So you wanna keep gold boosts on, and you wanna also keep on an XP boost as well. Uh, if you have them so you're gonna see how quickly you can actually farm up these uh, this experience and gold as well so here you go after this each kill is gonna give you about some so it's gonna be almost 1500 and then a lot of gold and once you hit 10 you can turn this in to get 40,000 of each so that's amazing that's uh, really fast so farming a group will make this very effective um, so I definitely recommend this one the other ones you just join the battleground A B C or D so that's how you do it over there um, this is definitely by far the fastest farming strategy it's faster than uh, the gin especially if you're farming in a group um, as you can see there Use a soloing class because you don't want to be using a farming class such as Chunin because that way you're actually not going to be able to kill the monsters and because they're actually quite strong. So right now I'm farming by myself but um, normally a lot of people will be here and you want to keep this quest box open to save you time so how you do that is you delete an item and just keep the delete thing on the screen while you walk around rooms. It's called the quest box glitch and then you can carry that quest to wherever you go which is pretty nice um so yeah once i get uh 10 drops i'll show you what the reward is the tokens and stuff like that are items you can use to merge for items in the merge shop i don't do it but uh you can if you want so yeah you get a lot of xp lots of gold here um i don't know of any other better strategies this is something that everyone is using before it was just Chaos Boss, then it was Ultra Dijin. Now it uh, seems to be Join Honor Hall. And this is like the prime farming spot. They made and designed this area just for farming gold and XP. Mainly XP, but I haven't done much farming. I'm only level 61 as you can see. Back then it was uh, level 60 max and I haven't been playing much. So I just got to level 61. So um, yeah, I'll be trying to get to level 65 when I have time. And I guess this is uh, by far the fastest farming way. I can also show you the maps um, after I get 10 kills over here. The other maps. So I just need two more kills. So yeah, these monsters can go down in like five seconds if you're farming in a group. And then each, so you're basically getting 15, um, 1500 XP per kill, as well as plenty of gold. And then in about 1 minute 50 seconds um, am I getting that right no 150 seconds so about three minutes you can turn it in for 40k of each so this can go by really quick um, yeah it can go by really quick so after you finish that turn in that's a huge huge reward and then uh, so that's basically how you do it so as I already showed you um, for levels 1 to 15, you just join Battleground A, and you can just go around here, and you see the monsters in the back. And the same thing for Battleground B, Battleground C, and Battleground D, they're all in the back. And after you complete 10 kills, um, you just turn it in and you get a lot of experience. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helps. Uh, definitely go do this if you're planning on leveling up quick. This is what I'm going to use at the moment. This works for any level and any uh, type of player, member or non-member, because they have quests and options for every single player. So yeah, I hope this helps and 
look forward to other videos. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, peace.